Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. In today's video, we will be looking into the concept of value engineering. So if you just browse through the net, you will see a lot of articles. But when you just read through it, you will understand it is too complex. The sentences, the different words used to describe what value engineering is. When you go through it, you will feel that it is too much complex. It is too much difficult to understand. So I thought that I will make a video to explain this concept in a very simple way. So hope you will like this video and hope by the end of this video, you will clearly understand what actually value engineering is all about. So if you have not yet subscribed to Quantity Surveying Studio, please do subscribe for quantity surveying related contents. So without further delay, let's move into the video. So value engineering, who is responsible for value engineering? Most of the times we hear that it is the role of the quantity surveyor to carry out this value engineering concept. But actually it is not like that. Whoever is involved in a project, everyone, all the stakeholders, it is all their responsibility. Value engineering is a part of their job responsibility, whatever the position is, whether it is a very junior level position or a higher level position or a mid level position, everyone involved in a project has to carry out value engineering process. Now, where is value engineering undertaken? This is not only in a construction sector, but every sector, every industry that you see in your daily life, in your country in your economy whatever the sector be whatever the industry be everywhere value engineering is done and everyone involved in that industry has to take care of this concept has to take care of this process and not only in an industry value engineering is also a part of your day-to-day -day normal life your daily life so that i'll explain it in the coming slide so when is value engineering done so this is carried out throughout from inception till completion. So the entire life cycle of a project, throughout the life cycle, value engineering is carried out. So every stage there will be different, different people involved and it is their responsibility to carry out this value engineering in that stage. So this goes on throughout the completion of the project and successful handing over of the project. So let's understand value engineering in a very simple way. So in your day-to-day -day life example, that is what I am explaining here. So imagine that you are working in a different city out of your hometown and you are just making note of your budget, your expenses. In the month of April, when you look through your expenses, you see that you have been spending a lot for outdoor food. You have been ordering a lot of food through maybe Zomato or Swiggy or you might be going out and eating. So you note that down and see that there is a lot of expenses being incurred on these outdoor food so you decide that the next month you will reduce it you'll try to make your own food you tell your wife that we'll make food and we'll try to make more food maybe on sundays or just weekends we'll go out and have food so the next month what you do is you spend little less on the outdoor food and a bit more on the groceries and when you compare you see that you have saved a lot of money in the second month that is when you decided to reduce on the outdoor food so this is value engineering in your day-to-day -day life you have carried out this concept you have carried out value engineering process what you have done is you have saved money in a very proper way by cutting down on unnecessary expenses and at the same time food is what you want and here you have reduced the outdoor foods and what you have done is you have decided to make food yourself in a better tasty way in a healthy way and the purpose is being served and the expenses have been become less it has become more economical so this is what value engineering is all about and this is carried out in every industry in every company every project by everyone involved in that project or in that company so in a construction project if you see there are different stages feasibility design planning budgeting execution handing over the dlp period so every stage value engineering is done for example in the feasibility stage 
every one the decision makers they come together to make some decision on a upcoming project so here they sit down discuss about the location how big it should be and based on that they decide how they can save money how big the project should be where where would the project be more suited whether it should be inside the city or should be on the outskirts so these decisions that carries out during this feasibility process is again value engineering here they are talking they are discussing to get the maximum profit out of this project to make use of the money that is being spent to get a better revenue that is being discussed here then comes the design stage there the designers start designing the project they have again different options will be there where they find out different ways by which they can save money maybe reduce the number of floors or make additional areas for parking or children's play area or expand the size of the building in a horizontal way rather than vertically or such and such decisions are being done here during the design stage then comes the planning and the budgeting stage where the procurement mainly here in the value engineering process sometimes as per the specification there will be certain type of materials for example this brand of ac to be used but again the cost managers the quantity surveyors they can find out ways different brands that is doing the same duty but in a reduced amount rates so like that they can find out different equipments or different materials that can be used for piping or mep activities or the civil activities where the quality is not compromised but the purpose is being served efficiently effectively so here again a value engineering is carried out and during the execution stage there will be your engineers the site engineers project engineers here mostly the way by which value engineering can be done is to effectively increase the productivity of the laborers the ways by which the workers can be utilized in a proper way with better productivity so that the project can be completed fastly and in a more economic way so that is being carried out during the execution stage and finally the handover and dlp period again during the dlp period the different processes that can be used to maximize the profitability during this stage also the defect liability period stage how less number of people can be used to carry out the rectification or defect correction works so again there will be the engineer site engineers during this period who can carry out this and monitor this process so this is how value engineering process happens in a construction project so again in different industries in different sectors in a similar way value engineering process is being carried out so hope value engineering concept is now clear and i hope now it is easily understood it is not at all complex so thanks a lot for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to quantity surveying studio please like this video if you have found it to be useful do share it with your friends and colleagues stay safe bye